We don't always hit our goals, and that's okay. Because we tried, we accomplished more than we ever would have had we not tried. One time for Christmas, somebody anonymously dropped off a huge box of all of the sweetest cereals. Like, I remember the ones that I got were the cookie crisp. And I was just like dying. I was so happy. Wow. And everybody got their own box. And with nine kids, that's like super expensive. <laughs> and we never got that. And it was all like the sweet cereals. And it, I, I just remember eating the whole box to myself. And I was so happy. Ah, Captain Crunch. Right How do you like your Captain Crunch? Good. Is it really good? I remember my first experience with Captain Crunch. I was just telling Rebecca about it. I was probably eight years old and my sister bought peanut butter crunch. And I remember she took the cup, like a measuring cup of peanut butter crunch, just dry, and she would sell it to us for I think a dollar. And we were just her younger brothers and sisters and we were like, we would do work to earn money so that we could buy it. Or she would make us do her chores or something and that's how we would get peanut butter crunch. And that was my first experience ever. And ever since then, peanut butter crunch has always had this like, Oh, like this wonderful Ooh. prize. <laughs> so James earned peanut butter crunch at the store the other day. We were learning about numbers and how much things cost. And so I, was, I told them there was a whole aisle of groceries and I said, pick the, find the one that costs $2.48, I think is what it was. And he looked at all the numbers and he found the one that costed two forty eight, and he pointed to it and he got it right. So we bought it and it was peanut butter crunch. Good job. Corbin tipped down on the bench and I fell down. Yeah. And it was an accident. Ooh, it's so bright. It was an accident. So Becca and I just got done with a planning session. We probably planned for two hours. Yeah. We just sat down and talked about our budget, how we can try to get out of debt and control our finances. And we talked about our next week and YouTube videos and what videos we're going to shoot and how we're going to be able to accomplish all of our goals that way. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very, very good productive planning session. Yep, we had planned to make videos today and yeah, that and this. didn't happen, but sometimes you gotta make switches like this and you gotta, you know, it makes every other day so much easier when you take the time to plan, even though it wasn't in the budget, or in the budget, even though it wasn't in the schedule to have a planning day. So right. needed. Failing to plan is planning to fail. Is that how the saying goes? Yeah, Something right. like that? Charlie's boys. It's been such a rainy day today, and it's been really stormy, and I think it's really cool because I like the rain and the storms. Look at this boy. Look at this boy. <laughs> Mom. start to smell their little rotten chin, rotten milk chin that they get Yucky, gross. So gorgeous though. It's like, it's still sweet. Even though it's like a rotten milk smell. <laughs> <laughs> So I was talking about planning and all the planning that Rebecca and I did and a lot of that was also goal setting. And I just wanted to tell you guys a lesson. This is a little nugget that I learned. When I was a missionary, we learned this. This is a quote that I memorized because it really had a big impact on me. And I just wanted to share it with you guys because I think it is universally applicable to anyone in any situation in their life. It's one I memorized because I want to always remember it. And it goes, I am so thoroughly convinced that if we don't set goals in our life and learn how to master the techniques of living to reach our goals, we can reach a ripe old age only to look back on our life and realize that we reached but a small part 
of our full potential. When one learns to master the principles of setting a goal, he will then be able to make a great difference in the results he attains in this life. I never forgot that message, and I think that's always stuck with me, just how important it is that we set goals. And I've seen that firsthand. We can take this into a smaller thing and say, okay, what about setting goals just for this week? Okay, if we don't set goals for this week versus if we do set goals for the week, we accomplish so much more when we set goals. That's why Becca and I spend so much time every week planning for that week or every month planning for that month because it makes a huge difference. We don't always hit our goals and that's okay. Because we tried, we accomplished more than we ever would have had we not tried. And I think that's the biggest takeaway. Don't beat yourself up if you don't hit your goals but you have to at least try and reevaluate how you did at the end of the week. Say, okay, these were our goals. How did we do on hitting those goals? What kept us from hitting our goals? What can we do next week so that those things don't interfere with us hitting our goals? So you kind of learn, okay, what can I really accomplish? Because maybe when you first start, you think you can do more than you really can. And so you have to kind of adjust your expectations of yourself and realize that, hey, I, I can't do everything. I have to have some downtime. I have to have some time to relax at the end of the day. And so you can't expect too much of yourself either. That's my motivational speech for the day. I really hope that one of you can get something from this because that means a lot can change your life. So my sister and her husband are coming tomorrow to stay with us for a couple days. And in preparation for that, we need to get our bedroom cleaned. <laughs> so we're gonna clean the bedroom right now. our bed over here by the window looks much better there's still a couple things we need to organize but at least it looks clean all right so now we got to move out of this room I know we're moving out of our summer home <laughs> <laughs> we're so lucky we are oh, wait, that back one, to that our winter good. home because it gets so hot during the summer because all the hot air rises so we move downstairs in the summer and then in the winter we go back upstairs where it's nice and warm James woke up from Sleeping to help us. That's right. Well, maybe not, but we put him to work. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it, folks, another episode of the Beach House. I hope that you really love today's episode. It feels good moving to another room every now and then. A little bit of a change is always a good thing, so I'm glad that we're moving upstairs again, organizing and do some fall cleaning. Check out yesterday's video if you missed it. Becca's singing by the behind the wheel it looks like also you can check out pins and things my wife's awesome crafting channel we're doing tons of halloween costumes and tutorials this halloween also follow us on facebook twitter instagram and google plus and subscribe to the beach house so you can watch our family every single day see you tomorrow